To prep the device, verify marker lumen patency by flushing it with saline until saline exits the marker port. The pre-close technique starts off with the same approach by advancing the device until mark is observed. For the first suture, rotate the device 30 degrees to the patient's right before performing the following deployment steps. Step 1. Lift the lever to open the foot. And gently retract the device until tactile sensation is felt. Step 2. Depress the plunger to deploy the needles. Step 3. Pull the plunger back and out until the suture is taut, then use the quick cut to cut the suture. Step 4. Lower the lever to close the foot, and then rotate the device back to the 12 o'clock position before backing out the device. Reinsert the guide wire when the guide wire exit port is at skin level and pull the two suture limbs from the proximal guide. Secure the suture limbs with a shotted hemostat or clamp and pull them taut to remove any suture slack from the tissue tract. Back out the device in exchange for the second per-close ProGlide device. Advance the device over the wire until the guide wire exit port is at skin level. Remove the guide wire, then continue advancing the device until mark is observed coming from the marker lumen. This time, rotate the device 30 degrees to the patient's left before repeating the four key steps to suture deployment. 1. Lift the lever to open the foot. 2. Depress the plunger to deploy the needles. Three, pull the plunger back and out before using the quick cut. Four, lower the lever to close the foot before exchanging the device for the guide wire and securing the suture limbs. If an additional suture is needed, then advance a third per-close ProGlide device over the wire and deploy the suture at the 12 o'clock position with the logo facing the ceiling. After the index procedure, Reintroduce the guide wire into the procedural sheath. Irrigate the access site and sutures with heparinized saline to remove any dry blood. Begin knot advancement with the first suture deployed. With tension on the rail suture limb and assistance with manual pressure, pull the sheath out while maintaining guide wire access. Load the suture trimmer onto the blue rail and assume a single-handed position coaxial to the tissue tract. Begin advancing the knot using slow, consistent, increasing tension to advance the knot all the way down to the vessel wall. After a few seconds, secure the pair of suture limbs before moving on to the second suture. Unclamp the second suture and load the suture trimmer onto the blue rail. Begin advancing the knot using a single-handed position coaxial to the tissue tract. Apply slow, consistent, increasing tension to advance the knot before securing both suture limbs. Return to the first suture to continue advancing the knot over the wire. Always assume a single-handed position coaxial to the tissue tract and secure the suture limbs each time to stay organized. Then go back to the second suture to do the same. Repeat knot advancement, alternating between the first and second sutures until bleeding is controlled.
Once bleeding is controlled, it is safe to remove the guide wire. Assume the single-handed position before pulling the guide wire out. Then continue advancing the suture knot after the wire has been removed. On the second suture, use the single-handed position to advance the knot fully now that the guide wire has been removed. Be sure to lock the suture knots in the order that they were deployed. Pull the white-tipped non-rail to lock the knot while maintaining a single-handed position coaxial to the tissue tract. On the second suture, assume a single-handed position to hold the suture knot tightly before pulling on the white-tipped non-rail to lock the knot. Load the first set of suture limbs into the suture gate of the suture trimmer. Pull the red lever to trim the trailing suture limbs below the skin. Finally, load the second set of suture limbs into the suture gate of the suture trimmer. And pull the red lever to trim the trailing suture limbs below the skin. Visually confirm hemostasis. Apply an appropriate dressing to the access site. Assess the access site as per hospital standard of care.